guys. I said we go live at 4.15. I think we're pretty close to that. No, what time is it? Should I look up comments? Or yeah. Or you can see the comments on there. It's 4.16. 4.16. I missed it by a minute. So this is our booth all set up. We had most of this in here yesterday. If you want to see it in detail, you can check out yesterday's live video. It's still up and posted. But we brought this bench in here, got some corbels. I made, well, I think I had those corbels. I made, I went home and made these little ones last night. Those are 45 for a pair. These bigger ones that are huge. Here, Jamie, hold this so they can get a sense of how big these are. See, they're pretty big. Hey, Pam. Right. I missed someone else said hi, but it's close to you. Okay. That's why I've got this cool stick. <laughs> yeah, it's fun, Jessica. It's real fun. So whose booth? Let's see. Our house. Our, our house. They've got a lot of cool natural wood stuff. I love that door. That door is cool with the mirror in there. Here's some like legit formals. We need to do some of like multiple Yeah, those those look like they came straight off an old house. Those are fun too. Those would be super easy to make. <laughs> I look at everything and I'm like, oh, I can make that. <laughs> so if you guys are into the uh, skeleton lamps, look at all these old lampshades that are all rusty and yep, we've got a couple of them. This, this little table, yeah. That is cool. Way cool. Which reminds me, I bought a dome and you were supposed to make something for it and you didn't. Uh, maybe tonight. Maybe tonight. We'll see how much stuff we sell and how late we're here. Yeah. I love all these skeleton shades. They're beautiful. This is right across from us and she's probably got some of our favorite stuff at the market. <laughs> That's why we're showing you this in, in depth. She's got some cool things. I'll just give you a quick pan of it. Check out that. That was probably an old workbench or something. Oh, I love this. It's like a wooden chair, and they used an outdoor chair, like combine yeah. the two. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Had like the metal stand on there. This. Are you watching comments at all? Uh, no. Are you watching comments? I kind of see them as they pop up, but they go oh, yeah, fast. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure what these shiny eggs are, but those are cool My just in time for Easter. Says, Get it done, family. <laughs> yeah, we will. This is, I love this. I'm always a big fan of like little drawers and stuff. This is, I, these are sewing cabinet drawers. I need, I need like a million of those so I can We're organize all my little screws. Coming. Everybody always wants to buy my laundry basket. All right. We're going to move on to the next booth. Let's go around this way. This is like legit. Those are some old terracotta. We have a video on how to age them, but these are the really old ones. They're only three for ten, though. They got like the cool chippies. Yeah. I may need some. All right. You can't buy everything at the market. If you've got some old windows, this is a cool idea to do with your old windows. It's just a box and they kind of tiered it up here on top, put a bunch of succulents or something in that. That'd be cool. Speak up. Oh, it's a feeder plate rack. Is that loud enough? <laughs> I can hear you now. Hey, we're going to come bombard your booth. We're live on YouTube. <laughs> got that good patina. All kinds of fun stuff. This market's pretty loaded. All right, and then we've got one of my favorite. This is one of my favorite booths over here that I've seen. They've got all this old stuff with that. You know, if you want to get this look, you just put stuff you painted out a year in advance. Just let it sit outside for a year in the snow and the rain and the wind and the sun and it'll look like that you won't have to do anything i'm not sure is that a real is that a real little goat that's kind of yeah, freaking me out a little <laughs> it was i don't alive they're so they're so cute alive i don't think i could have one in my house dead like that yeah, <laughs> look at this corbel here this is uh, plaster or some sort. No, is that fiberglass? You're kidding me. So it doesn't weigh anything? Well, yeah, see, look. You can see the fiberglass right there, though. Oh, still, that's awesome. Now I'm going to have to get into fiberglass and make stuff. <laughs> We're just showing everybody a little live video of the market here. 
Jamie's not watching comments very well. Sorry if I'm but missing Jamie stuff. Is still popular. I'm watching comments. Did we show our booth? We can go back and show our booth. Yeah, we'll show it. We'll show it at the end. See, this is what I, you can do if you guys get like some old, the, old finials and stuff. Here's a little goat friend for Another you. Another little goat. That was once a real goat. <laughs> um, but yeah, you get like these little finials and Katie stuff. Katie says she's shopping. Leave her alone. Katie knows me. I have a hard time doing these live things because I just want to shop. <laughs> she is shopping. This is a cool display here. I'll give you a good pan of it. All right. Watch out, Jamie. Yeah, we'll show our booth here in just a minute. Look at all this cool stuff. And these old corbels that are just rotten from being out in the weather. I can't replicate that. I, I'd be all day trying to get that good chippiness. Look at that. Maybe someday I'll perfect the science of getting the good chippy like that. I might have to do something like this. This is actually pretty easy to do. do make a corbel with that on there. That'd be cool. That's way cool. Don't mind me. I'm just figuring out how to make stuff as I walk around. All right, next booth. We're going to be all day. We got like 20 minutes left. <laughs> These guys have some dough bowls. Look at those big dough bowls there. Are way cool. I love that big one. Yeah. The problem is when I have cool stuff, I don't sell it. This is probably my favorite thing I've seen. It's like an old washboard with, a, with the uh, clothes press on it. And they've got the bucket full of cool stuff they've sewn. I think that's a butter churn. Is that a butter churn, Jamie? Um, yeah, I guess so. I don't know. Pretty good pricing on some of this stuff that's actually old. That's only 95 bucks. It's legit. It's too legit. Oh, careful, Zip. As we, as we see people, Jamie gets distracted and has to talk, so I'll show you guys all the things. This is a fun booth, got some cool signs and things here. Look at those pillows and the couch. Is that couch painted? Yeah, it's Is it soft? It's a little crispy. Some cool old rolling pins. Hey, Dana, how you doing? I'm sorry. I'm just shopping. Jamie's shopping as we walk. Just in time for Easter. Oh look, there's me in the mirror. <laughs> so this looks like it was milk painted. Yeah. That's a that's what if you get the good chippy with the milk paint, you can get this effect here. Alright, looks like someone someone didn't have a booth full. Some cool succulents there. I like these. I like these signs. These here with the the eye charts. I think that's just fabric. Yeah. There's a cool table set that someone's done. This is my friend. Oh, I like that. Oh. got like a good situation here. Man, look at the uh, look at the detail on that. <laughs> it's way detailed. Let's see, we've got some succulent booths. Oh, we have look at this we have two furniture. other buildings we haven't even been in. <laughs> yeah, we'll never make it all. We'll try to go live maybe again tomorrow morning. Yeah, we might we might uh, get one and a half buildings. Okay. This chair is huge. Sit in it so they can see how big it is. Sit careful, you don't want to buy it. I know. I'll give you a pan of the back. Oh look, there's another cool chair hiding over here. Oh, that's a that's a deconstructed style there. Mm -hmm. They painted everything brown on theirs. That's cool. Vintage furniture restoring whimsy. If you guys want to follow them, they got cool stuff. I like this table. Naturally, I like this table. I'm gonna go around the other side. We have a house 
ridge pole. It was a what now? A ridge pole, like oh, a pole. Oh, yeah. And that's what that's made out of? That's what this is made out of. Love it. That's awesome. Benches too. There's four benches. Oh, nice. And it's called the Walton. Have you ever heard of the show Walton? Yeah. We call it the Walton Cave. I like that's it. It's way cool. I love that. And that's not going to shrink on you because that wood's probably super old. That. Show them that dresser. Sorry, we're live on YouTube. That's a Show desk. Them. It's a desk back there. It's super cute. I like all the little drawers in there. Yeah, I was looking for more and Chairs. We got some cool old folding chairs. Yes, old ones. All right, Zeb, I'm ahead. No one's commenting. They're all just watching. They're in awe at all the good stuff. <laughs> all right. Empty spaces. Hey. Is that, is that dating you? You don't see them anymore. They come in those big plastic cases. Is that dating me? Are you calling me old? <laughs> Maybe. Do I, I don't know. I like the way they did this dresser here. That's pretty. That's a lot of sanding, though. I don't have that kind of energy. Oh, still setting up. Hurry, it's almost time. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, she got stuck behind a train. Succulents, if you guys love succulents, this is your stop. Look at all these little guys here. Those are tiny ones. And we always have a book bender. These people take old books and they bind them and uh, make like notebooks and stuff out of them. Some fun old dressers and chairs here. Is that a Hoosier? Would we call that a Hoosier? No, just a, just a little, a just a top that's been put on top of a dresser. I was thinking it was all one piece. They did a good job of marrying those pieces together. <laughs> all right, so we have to finish cleaning things out. Let's show them our space real quick. All right, we'll show you our and space, then, and then tomorrow we'll catch another barn. There's a whole, there's, there's two, barns. there's two more barns that we haven't even seen. This is our booth mate here. She's across the way. <laughs> All right, so real quick, give them the recap of what we've added and what we did and what. Just a little shelf that we thrifted, and then I put a little wreath on it. Talk loud. I got a splatter here. It's really heavy, and it's got these cute little feet. Can you see the little feet? Yeah. Like, this is from the shop. It's been there for a while. It's like my favorite chewy. So as we were leaving yesterday, someone asked us how we price things for markets. You want to break that down for them? Yeah, so when we are getting ready for markets, I take into account how much I paid for an item, how much time I put into it, um, products used, and then also what things kind of sell for in the area. So if you've been to a few markets, check out the pricing, and that'll kind of give you an idea. I usually know when I buy something, how much I can sell it for. So I keep that in mind, so that way I'm not paying too much. But there's not like a hard and fast rule. It just kind of depends on what things sell for. But just always make sure that you're covering what you pay for it, your time, your product, and then a little bit extra to cover whatever it costs you to go into the market. Yeah, you, you have to pay for your booth, you've got travel time, setup time, so you gotta make money on all that. Sure. So I don't know, we kind of showed them this the other day, but this- so we, this we, is an old radio cabinet, and I actually found these four feet at the thrift store, Zeb was gonna make some. But you just put these on here and we put it back, and then you open it and it's got like a little shelf inside. And it likes to, <laughs> it likes to- It's work. sticky. <laughs> Yeah, this is our bench. If you guys want to see this bench, I've got some videos. We've added probably about 12,000 subscribers since I built this bench, but I built this um, as a build for the channel. So I've got two videos detailing the build on this bench here. So, and then these screens, we went real easy with our backdrop. So we didn't these, do anything elaborate. These screens have been sitting on the side of my house for like two years. And I think I paid like $30 and I got a whole pile of doors and screens. And these screens were there they were already hinged together. And yesterday we were trying to figure out what the heck we were gonna do for a backdrop. And I was like, Zeb, what about these? And so we literally just grabbed them and threw them up here. And the paint job is whatever was already done. Like we did nothing but open them up. Well, these, are, these are a great team. They don't take a lot of space good for markets. They're easy to hang the signs off from. These are the double signs. They've got the front and the back. Yeah. I don't it's think we exciting. have anything. Um, yeah, and then this is the one that I painted live the other day. If you haven't seen this one, this is the finished product. It's got the white wax on there. Here, let me give you a close-up so you can see the detail real good. Yeah, it turned out really a very, like, French country-aged 
Yeah, it blended up real nice yeah. with the white wax on there. Looks like it's sat in a like, chateau and gotten all sun bleached, but I made it look like that. It didn't look like that when I got started. I think that, that that's pretty much it. Oh, and so. these pillows that you made. Everybody always asks Jamie to do a pillow tutorial on her grain sack pillows. And she doesn't ever want to because she's always scared that people will be all judging her on how she does it. Because she cheats and she super glues the end together. It's not super glue, it's hot glue. Or hot glue. It's Gorilla Glue. You know what? We've never had the Gorilla Glue fail. What'll happen is that an actual seam will actually fail so later. what I do is I take <laughs> a stitch on each side of this and then when I close it up, I just use the Gorilla Hot Glue that's made for fabric and it does not cough. And you've washed them and stuff too, haven't yeah, wash you? Yeah, them, dry them. They're fine. It holds up really well. I wouldn't suggest washing the film anyways, but usually I wash them and I let them air them. So this chair... Jamie upholstered. We had this in our house for a long time. If you guys have followed us for a while, you've seen that. But we, when we moved away from this kind of style chair and put the big white IKEA couches in there, this chair got put in the shop. It got the booth. So it isn't like the perfect place to sell something like this because it's one of a kind. People are kind of looking for that grain stack. Yeah, and someone said that they want the pigs. I I saved the pattern for these pigs. We'll if, have these up on the website in a couple of weeks. Yeah, if they if they sell real well, I'll have them up on the website. And so if you a limited amount because they're made from reclaimed tabletops. Yeah, so it just depends on how many tabletops we can get our hands on. Because otherwise, I wouldn't be able to cut them out that wide without it being too expensive for the wood. They're seventeen dollars. We'll let you know as soon as we get them on the website and how many we will have in stock, and they'll be a limited supply. All right, guys. Love y'all. We'll check back in. Hopefully tomorrow, if we can get here, we'll go through another barn and show you guys some more stuff. And next week, we'll back, be back to our regular schedules. I have some really fun new products I want to show you, some new stamps, some new techniques. So we're going to have some good DIYs next week. Be sure to hit the notification button so you don't miss a live. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY.